City Charter High School. It's a public charter school located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, that has been integrated with technology in order to create an encouraging and educational experience for its students. Today we will hear from co-founders Dr. Richard Wertheimer. But you can't go to a store and buy culture. You can't replace culture. And Mr. Mario Zinga. But to me, City High has always been a school that should be allowed to ask questions. And we will learn about the history, academics, organizations, and other policies of City Charter High School. City High first opened its doors in August of 2002 and is a child of Dr. Richard Wertheimer and Mario Zinga. They researched ideas and methods from schools all over the country in order to create the best school for the students' needs. Listen, I, I was in education for 25 years, so it, it is the culmination of my experiences and Mr. Zinga's experiences. But I think the old idea of the straw that, that breaks the camel's back was our being frustrated over a successful program that rather than the school say, what a great idea, let's do this, they were, nah, we don't wanna do that. And, and that upset me. It wasn't student oriented, it was, it was just business as usual. So we decided to see if we could put together a new high school that looked like what the world of work looked like. We took a year off, uh, we did all sorts of research, we put together the framework and the proposal for what is currently City Charter High School. We submitted that proposal to Pittsburgh Public Schools. They gave us a charter in 2002, and we opened in August of 2002. And what better way to introduce students to the world of work than to be located in the Clark Building in downtown Pittsburgh? We all work, we all work in business districts. We work in the middle of town. We work in the center of town. So to have a high school where most people worked is correct, is correct. The admission process for City High starts in the fall of the student's eighth grade year. They accept only a total of 156 before resorting to a lottery system. Once admitted, the students are required to attend orientation in order to introduce them to the fundamentals of City Charter High School. But why 156 students? I've taught in high schools that had 40 kids in a class and 35 kids in a class. Most of the research literature said that 26 in a class was a, good, was a good number. We decided that 26 was right. So we put 26 in a single class, 52 in the double big class. So do the numbers. Three groups per grade, 26 in a class, 52 in a group, 52 times three groups is 156 in a grade four grades, 624 kids, that's how many kids we can have in our school. We never allow more than 26 because that would affect the education. We never go down below 20 because we couldn't afford it. So that's how we came up with the number. It was a math problem. City High's mission is to graduate young adults who are prepared academically, technically, personally, and socially to participate and succeed in post-secondary education and in technology-related fields. How does City High accomplish that? First of all, it uses a unique system not seen in the city's public schools in order to succeed academically. Its trimester and looping system is one seen to improve productivity among its students. 10 weeks off is not a good thing when it comes to academics and learning. It would be if you were learning during that time, but most kids go home. In our job market, many kids can't find jobs. Some stay in bed. Some lay around the house. It's terrible. Parents know it because parents will tell you after the fourth week of summer vacation, their kids will turn to them and say, I'm so bored. Rather than having a grade level assigned to teachers, the teachers follow the students throughout their four-year journey. This looping system allows the teachers to create a bond with their students and foster better relationships. So what happens at one minute after eight in the cultural literacy room in 10th grade? Well, you all pick a newspaper up and you read it. And you know exactly what you're supposed to read. You know what the prompt is. You know about the journal. You know it all. So on the first day of school, at one minute after eight o'clock, we're working. When it comes to summer breaks, uh, public schools are out earlier than we are. But when it comes to a winter break, we have the whole December off and the whole April, or most of April. So they were, uh, I know 
for me, um, a lot of my friends were still in school while I was eating, drinking hot cocoa, watching uh, corny Christmas movies. That's the best part about City High, the looping system. I have gotten to know so many teachers that I would have been like, like now, being in my senior year, if they were just our freshman teachers, I'd been like, who, who who's that? But now I, I like know them at such a personal level and it's just amazing. And it's like, they know me, I know them. It's like, hey, hey, what's up, what's up? Another creative aspect of City High's academics is its curriculum, which is based on a clustering of the Pennsylvania Chapter 4 academic standards. The world is involving problem solving, difficult thinking, discussion, collaboration, use of technology, research. Well, in the real world, things are clustered. In the real world, things are not done in isolation. Well, think about it now. I put you into a cultural literacy class where basically you're learning to write in English, but you're writing in history. You're learning to read materials, nonfiction and fiction in history, well, you're still learning about grammar and tense and, and how w the language works. For, so why not put it together? So the idea was to create, to put back clusters that really belong together. Another part of City High's curriculum is the technology. And in order to prepare students for the technology-driven world, each student is given a laptop. Gave you the ultimate tool. No cyber learning gave you the ultimate tool. Let the teachers have this same technology. Get going. Get going. While City High does not have an official sports team, it does have many successful organizations. For example, City High's robotics team participates in first robotics competitions as Team 1743. Here, they learn about teamwork and the value of friendly competition but we were able to get the system working and it was really neat to see even as a sophomore I was able to have a pretty good part of making things work. I was able to read through a few manuals, try to figure some stuff out, figure out you need to turn it on, plug the battery in, and I just got hooked. They've won several awards while competing in robotics regional competitions. In 2006, the rookie year, Team 1743 was a championship winner at the Pittsburgh Regional in addition to receiving the Rookie Inspiration Award. It's a lot of fun. These competitions, it's screaming and shouting and things break down. It's like NASCAR and football and chess and other sports all wrapped into one. City High students are used to being in the spotlight. Its drama production has been putting on a dazzling, talent-filled show annually since 2005. I've been teaching here for now six years as a learning support teacher. That's what my uh, background is, degrees are in. Uh, but. I've done theater my whole life, so in November of 2005, which was during my first year, I decided, well, let's see if we can get a drama program started. So uh, that's exactly what we did, and it actually happened right here in the cafeteria. City High's One Eye Plays allows every student in its program to perform, giving each of them their own personalized experience. Drama has had a very profound effect on me as a person. It has boosted my confidence, I mean, so many levels, I mean, coming in this scared, naive ninth grader, and now I'm this ready to do, take on the world, 12th grader, and um... All these like veterans there who had been in the program for at least a year, and I just felt so out of place, and everyone was being crazy and loud, and it was amazing. It was like, I belong there. Because that's the greatest thing about acting. It's not being the best actor or actress, even though most of our children are. It's about the experience. It's about developing that bond as a family. The future looks bright for City Charter High School. It has been rechartered through to 2012, and with the success it has had so far, there's no sign of stopping it. The key is for the school to keep growing. Making sure that we continue to examine the program that we deliver to kids. When um, a teacher stays with you for so long, they know how to play to your strengths. And that makes you feel really good when a teacher can say, you may not have got that math problem right, but look what you did do. Last week you couldn't do that, but this week you can. And so City High helps you grow. And I think that is why I'm thankful for being in City High.